So thanks again for your feedback, and I'm going to move on out and to introduce today's presenters. Joining us today from Adobe Systems is Paul Garrett and Stefan Cameron. Paul is an eSystems specialist on the Enterprise Technology Team at Adobe Systems. And Stefan Cameron is a computer scientist um, in the Interaction Customer uh, Communications Team. Hopefully I got that right, <laughs> Stefan. Um, yeah. I'd like to welcome the both, and thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Laurie. I'm assuming that everybody can see my screen now. Yes. Looks okay. Great. <clears throat> Wonderful. So uh, uh, my name is Paul Garrett, and uh, I asked uh, Stefan to come along and, uh, and sit in and interject where, where necessary. And uh, today I was asked to talk to you about uh, connecting forms to databases. So I just want to uh, put up a slide here just to talk, uh, give you a little bit of the idea of uh, where this is heading. And then we're going to spend most of the time where I will uh, demonstrate inside of Designer uh, using some of the forms I have and, uh, and things like that. Uh, if at any time you have questions, uh, you want to expand on certain points or whatever, uh, feel free to type them into the chat pod. We have a couple other people monitoring the, the, uh, the question and answer pod, and they can answer that way. Uh, towards the end, if I see uh, points that have been raised in there that uh, are valuable, I think are going to be valuable to everybody else, uh, I will attempt to get them uh, into the presentation here. Okay? So without further ado, let's get going here. So uh, what I want to talk about, first of all, is uh, just how to go about setting up uh, the, the, the parts that you're going to need to connect to a database uh, from your form. Um, first of all, you have to uh, set up the connection itself. This is a, a Windows level type of connection. Um, and then we're going to start getting into, once you've got the connection, how do I, how do I control that connection to get the information that I want? Uh, first thing we do is something very, very simple. is just going to dis display a single record. Uh, and then we're going to move through the records in a database, uh, learning how to navigate forward, backwards, front, uh, first, last, that type of thing. Um, after that, the, the, one of the more common things that people want to do uh, is deal with a specific record. I want to be able to enter in uh, some information, uh, maybe like a, a, an account number, and I want to go to that specific record in that database, uh, as opposed to just a generic, the first one in the, uh, in the stack. Uh, then we're going to deal with uh, multiple records. Another thing people, I see a, lo a lot of things that people want to do is uh, display all of the records in a database at a single time. If you think in terms of like a statement or something like that, um, that that would be the type of application we're talking about. And last but not least are uh, security concerns and things to consider when trying to access, access databases from forms. So this is the part where I try to convince you why you shouldn't be doing database access. Okay? I know it sounds silly, but you'll understand when I get there. All right, so without further ado, what I'll do is uh, get out a PowerPoint here and close down that application. And we'll move right into uh, my designer here. Uh, I happen to be uh, operating on a Windows 7 uh, 64-bit system. And I'm using the latest version of designer, uh, which uh, just shipped with, uh, <coughs> with Acrobat 9. Um, and this is designer 9, OK? So uh, this database stuff really hasn't changed in the last, uh, since about version 7. So the things I'm going to talk about here uh, are pretty much the same uh, throughout all of the different releases. So if you're running on a, an earlier release, a lot of the same things uh, will apply here, OK? So uh, first things first is we have to have a form to connect. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new form here. So I now have a, a blank drawing template. All right? <clears throat> so um, first thing I need to do is to create a database connection. Now, Windows 7 is a little bit different than uh, the other Windows versions. Typically, to create a data connection, I would have to go into my control panel and uh, go into administrative tools and my ODBC sources here. Okay, So it, it's, it, you get this in different places depending on the version of Windows that you're operating under. Uh, but ultimately, you want to go to your data sources, your ODBC connections. And you'll see a panel very similar to this one here. And what we're interested in doing here is, is defining a connection to a particular database. That involves a need, the need to invoke a driver that is provided by the database provider. So if I'm using Access, when I load Access up, typically the database, <coughs> the, uh, database driver is loaded with uh, Office products and so on. So if you don't see the Access drivers here, then uh, you're not going to be able to make a connection, or whether you're using Oracle or MySQL or SQL Server, whatever. So from an administrative perspective, everybody who wants to access this database uh, needs to have this driver uh, uh, on their particular machine. Once it's on the machine, then you need to configure it. And this is what I'm going to be doing at this point in time here. So there really, there really are two key areas here, user DSNs data set, uh, and uh, a system DSN. 
the user DSN uh, in a Windows world is uh, is restricted to the actual.